What's up guys, I was watching the Olympics men's doubles final back again and I picked up on something that the commentator Gillian Clark said when Wang Chi Lin was playing a smash. We all know that Wang Chi Lin has one of the best smashes in men's doubles at the moment. In my opinion, it probably is the best. But what makes it so special? Before this video starts, I would really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button to help support the channel. Thank you. Gillian Clark said something that was quite important and that was that Wang Chi Lin puts his heart and soul into the smash. And this got me thinking, he is one of the players that does put everything into the game, especially his smash. Just look at his face when he is playing this shot, he is literally giving it everything he has. I honestly think this is one of the reasons why his smash is so good. Another important thing which he does which generates him so much power for him, is look at how he transfers his energy into his smash. He is literally using every muscle in his body to produce the power that in his smash that he does. Look at his starting position, he has his legs slightly bent and his left foot in front of his right. It's important to have your knees bent so that you can push off the floor faster and jump higher. He then pushes off from his right foot to perform a badminton scissor kick. This is the most effective way to play a smash like this. By jumping high into the air he creates the power from his legs and it also provides that extra height which creates the angle in his smash. He is already 1.86 meters tall, so by jumping it adds that extra height which means that the angle will be even better. His left arm is raised slightly, aiming towards the shuttlecock. By performing a scissor kick, it means that he rotates his whole body into the shot, twisting his hips and legs creating the speed and strength. You can also see that his head rotates to allow his shoulder to come forward more into the shot. Look at where he hits the shot too. The shuttlecock is at its highest point in front of him, which is the perfect position to play a shot for, to create power and for a good angle. His arm is basically straight too on contact with the shuttlecock, which once again creates that power and also means he is taking the shuttlecock higher, as obviously a straightened arm is, can reach further up into the air than a bent arm. You see this in boxing too, a punch is most powerful at the end of the strike when the arm is extended. If the arm is bent you don't get that snap on the punch. It's the same for badminton. As well as that, look at the rotation of Wang Chi Lin's forearm as he hits the shuttlecock. When Wang Chi Lin extends his elbow, he fully pronates his arm, which creates a lot of power from your forearm and allows you to hit the shuttlecock towards the other side of the court. Without the forearm rotation, it would almost be impossible to play the shot. As soon as he hits the shuttle, he will squeeze the racket with his fingers to create the finger power, which is so important in badminton. Another player that does this really well in terms of creating as much power as they possibly can through the methods I mentioned above is Muhammad Hassan from Indonesia. One thing that I love when I watch Li Yang and Wang Chi Lin is that they have the ability to be really hyped up and be loud on court and then also can be really focused and quiet like what we saw at the Olympic final. I think one of the reasons why they get loud is to fire themselves up, to bring out that determination that they have to win. You tend to see this quite a lot when they are losing and not playing so well. By shouting and getting loud, they can really increase their energy and play the best that they can. Shouting in badminton also raises your adrenaline too, which would allow you to hit the shuttlecock harder. In the final of the Olympics, they looked so focused and confident that they were going to win that game. When they started to get into a rhythm, they were able to win so many points in a row and they just needed to keep doing what they were doing. I just wanted to make a quick video to go over what makes Wang Chi Lin smash so effective. Perhaps you guys can try some of the things that Wang Chi Lin does in this video. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Have an awesome day.